Yeah, hello everyone. Um, so I'm going to talk a bit about network health, what we did in 2020 and what we're going to do in 2021. There are actually three points I want to highlight here. The first one is what actually goes into network health. Um, network health has not been a pretty popular topic in the past State of the Onion presentation. So I talk a bit about what this actually means. Um, then I talk a bit about our battery relay work, which we did this year and plan to do. And I cover the monitoring performance improvements Mike talked about. So network health is actually at the intersection of a um, part of Tor, actually several parts of Tor. Um, if you are interested in the network health, in the health of the network, that means that you need some metrics first to get some baselines and get some improvements. Um, and so it's obvious that the uh, metrics team is involved here. Then there's a community aspect too. We need to talk about uh, upcoming tour changes to really operators coordinate this kind of stuff and uh, have to talk to directory authorities about um, upcoming changes and how we can improve the, uh, the overall health of the network. And of course, there's a core tour part involved here too, for instance, in the bandwidth scanners which are important for load balancing in, um, in the Tor network. And uh, finally, there's a lot of say to say about bad relay work where we try to keep malicious relays out of the network to provide everyone a safe and, and secure stay, uh, stay uh, while they are using Tor. So um, talking about bad relays, um, we realized this year that the overall work remains hard with our limited resources. We had several uh, removals of large groups of malicious exit relays this year. And while doing so, um, we realized, um, not for the first time, but um, but really this year, that that's an uphill battle which we have to change in the future uh, to keep this sustainable. Um, so we started to think about longer term plans, how we can change this arm race, and I'll talk a bit about this later. Um, the other part Mike uh, talked a bit about is um, network health involvement in the uh, performance and scalability work. This is a central part because if you want to see how our performance improves and how, how our overall scalability improves, we need some, some data and, and uh, continuous monitoring of what we, uh, what we coded and what we deployed. So we have already scanners which do part of this but we need to improve them um, to uh, and tune them to the new reality. And by the way, this should help as well with the battery relays work because um, parts of the code bases are shared here. So this is actually a win-win situation. And uh, we start as well on, uh, on thinking about new tools that give us um, insight into the state of the, of the Tor network, which will be um, important for, for the next year. So, yeah, so the, the new and improved tools for performance and stability I already alluded to. And the other big point um, where, we, where we focus on next year will be progress on the battery relay situation. In particular, um, we thought about a, a change in the way that we try to get uh, more relay, uh, more, more traffic on relays where we kind of know the operators and where we have some, some trust relationship um, involved. So provided we get some, some funding, which would, be, which would be really helpful here, we think about hashing out what we mean by, by known. What does it mean for us if, when we say we know a really operator and what kind of, of trust relationships do we really want to have in the Tor network? And once we have this hashed out, we can actually start implementing this and make the overall security and safety of the Tor network better compared to what we have right now. So. Thanks for listening. Um, upcoming is um, Cecilia, who will be talking about uh, the anti-censorship.